You can be a very good accountant and be a terrible entrepreneur, business owner, or somebody who's going to start their own gig because you have to do two things. You have to execute and do the accounting, but then you also have to go and get sales. Like you start wearing so many caps, you got to be able to spin that. You have to be able to multitask. You cannot, and and by nature, most accountants are behind the scenes, high detailed, fine tooth combed type of people that are really good at working behind the scenes. And that's fine. There's value to that. But unless you're ready to also put on at least the sales hat, and then you talk to somebody like us that can put digital and video and Google ads and assets in place that will bring them to you. But not only do you have to do sales and prospect and connect and, and peak curiosity and ask them for meetings and do that uncomfortable thing of prospecting, you also have to run a meeting. And running a meeting, you have to have a meeting cycle. And not, not only this, I'm giving you the framework. Like you haven't even worked out your business framework yet and your services, right? And you can do it. I mean this. Take my $500 course. I will... Frame this out for you so quickly and so easily that it is absolutely worth it. Eh, is that a good pitch? Um, but I'm telling you, man, if you think that what it's going to be is you feeling a little naked and a little insecure about whether or not you're credible, that's not it. And here's the assurance. So here's the good news, my friend. Think about these business owners. So first of all, if you remember my outsourced account model, it's all about business owners and their businesses, right? Because That's where the most opportunity is. They have the most problems that need solving. You're working with a business checking account, which is better than a personal checking account when it comes to paying you. They, in general, need the help. And there's a ton of them, right? And there's a entropy itself makes sure that there's roofers and plumbers and electricians. Like there are a lot of them that need this help, right? And the government's not making it any easier. So what you're going to find, my friend, is that um, when they're doing their stuff, when a business owner, let's just say, let's just imagine you're a concrete guy, right? And you're working for some dude and you're like, you know what? I want to do my own concrete firm. You break off. Year one, you barely pay your mortgage. You're just making sure you don't go under. Year two, you make a little bit of money. Maybe you got some help. Year three, all of a sudden you got help. And you started making some money and now they better talk to you because through this whole thing, all they did was barely survive. They don't understand the problems that are going on. And on one end of the spectrum, They've been doing their own stuff, just holding on by the seat of their pants. They could do it themselves on a real DIY spectrum. On this side is them getting no help, doing it themselves, and they are not experts. In fact, they'll often have like double counted revenue. They they don't even have bank accounts set up. Like That's the worst it can get is they do it themselves and they screw it all up. But you know what? There's a lot of people doing that. And then on the other side, let's just say they go to the most credible, confident, high caliber, high protein accounting firm that's out there. That's going to cost them a fortune. Think of the gap there. You know how many people are like halfway and below on that? At minimum, you should be encouraged that you as an organized person, simply helping them a little bit will add so much value because what you don't understand is that a business owner wears all these caps and some of them are so hardwired towards sales, so hardwired towards, you know, the mechanics of executing in their job that the finances, the mark, like there's marketing and finance, there's kind of these different verticals within the business and different hat that they are significantly different um, types of thinking. Like it's using a whole different hemisphere of their brain. And by the time they get to the end of their day, the end of the week, the month, the quarter, and the year, their decision making, their attention span, and everything that they have in them is no longer capable of doing this thing that they hate doing. They don't know how to do. They second guess themselves. They do it wrong, and it sucks life from them. Just watch a guy. I was just ta- so I'll tell you a story right now. I was just on the phone with a friend of mine from high school. He runs his own custom cabinet shop. He's been his own DIY guy, single owner LLC, doing his own thing. And him and his wife are having conflict because of taxes. And I'll tell you what. The taxes, the bookkeeping and all that just eats at them because what they've done is up to this point for like 15, 20 years is, you know, he just kind of wings it. Well, then what happened is last year something happened. He made a little more money and then a little less money and all of a sudden, boom, that you're about to have a $15,000, $25,000, $35,000, dollars tax bill you didn't know about and your wife is asking you about it. You know what that does to you? Turns you into a crabby dad, I'll tell you that much. Turns you into a bad business owner. It eats your soul, my friend. Again, that's over here. Don't you think you can help? I think you can help, my friend. 
I think that if you just take your skills of being organized and understanding accounting and bookkeeping and just help them stay organized. Shoot, there's a whole atm- there's a whole sphere of business owners that are just virtual accountants or virtual assistants. And they don't even know how to do accounting really. You can come in and add a ton of value, my friend. So my answer is screw the MBA, screw higher education. There's a whole bunch of reasons for that. It is the most stacked up inflationary thing. It is not worth it unless you want to go to big business. And even there, entrepreneurship's not easy. This is hard, but you know what? You can put that tea time. I was, I was talking to the same business owner, right? So I was talking to my buddy and I'm like, he's like, man, I just, part of me wants to get out of here and go work for somebody else because this just pisses me off. And he was talking about how he gets in arguments with his wife about how he spends his time, right? Because I said, well, the good news is, is, you know, one bad thing is that work follows you on the nights and weekends if you allow it. But on the other side, kind of set your own schedule, right? You, you you can you can do whatever you want. You want to go on that trip? Go on that trip. You got to afford it. If you want to go and have the tea time and play some golf, you want to go fishing, you want to go on a hunting trip, you want to work remotely. Like me, myself, if I didn't have a family here, I could seriously do whatever I want. Everything I do is on this laptop right here, short of making these videos. And I could work wherever I want, whenever I want, and I could make bank, right? Now, he goes, you know what? I always do. Every other week, I got a tea time, and I hit it. And my wife hates it, but... There's benefits to this. Not only that, you can make some serious wealth. You can integrate. There's all sorts of reasons to start your own business. And I think a lot of you are called to do it. But if you can't run meetings and get sales and prospect, <clears throat> doesn't matter how credible you feel. Now, that being said, it's a lot easier to prospect. It's a lot easier to sell. It's a lot easier to get behind your marketing system if you work with us and create videos if you are competent. So my suggestion for you is get your CPA or enrolled agent if you want that credibility. Forget the MBA, get your college degree, get out, go work in a firm. If you want some real experience, go call the local CPAs around you and say, hey, tell you what, wondering if you need help during this tax season. Don't tell them you're starting your own firm. All of these guys need help. They need good help. Unemployment for accountants is <laughs> worse than it is in the trades, okay? So that would be my recommendation to you. Good luck. God bless. I hope that helps. If this is helpful, okay, I'm trying to make sure that I give stuff away, okay? If you're just looking to start your own business, there's two things I want you to do. Number one, if that was helpful, go to this support the channel, and there's a link in the description here too, and give me money. <laughs> If you give a donation, well, there's two bucks, right? This Google Ad Spender, this Google AdSense, does it's not it doesn't provide this hour that I just poured out of myself. And I want to do that. I feel called by God to help more of you start your own business. And I know that might sound a little corny, but that's the first thing. The second thing is, is that I've got a course, okay? This course is no joke. And I know that's easy for somebody to say, but if you go to my website, go to feedbackwrench.com and you come down here to online course, you can learn about this thing. It's $500. And in this $500, it's your value proposition. It's your structure. It's your coaching. What I just did there, it's 27 segments and I'm pouring more into it. And I'm telling you, this will get you set for the things you don't know how to do. Go get your enrolled agent. Go get a CPA. Get some um, bookkeeping help. Go to bookkeepers.com. They have some really good stuff about how to do bookkeeping. This is about how to run a business. And we can help you with that. That course will help you with that. I guarantee you it'll be worth your money. Good luck. God bless. Like and subscribe if you like this. Leave a comment. Evidently, comments help a lot. I don't know. I'm just trying to help. So have a good one.